Are we pissing our pants yet? You motherfuckers. <laughs> Best of luck. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting out of the way. <laughs> I think he's, uh, well, I love Jeffrey, so that's why. I'll Come here, chicken. Hi, little chicken. Hi, little Florida chicken. Hey. Hey. What's your name? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, why the chicken cross the road? Hey. Fine, be that way. Jerk. Open your eyes to see the world. Close your eyes to see your mind. Squint your eyes to see the secret dolphin in a magic eye poster. Question number one. How do the wolves mark their victim? X. W. I meant W. <laughs> All right, that's one for God. Jeffrey. Boom. What stupid <laughs> game is this? Okay, yeah, oh, nice. yeah, that's the way it works. Comb over. Comb over. Comb over. I'm just, just one <laughs> final question. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you need a moment? Is it really cold? It's so freaking hot. <laughs> the hills have eyes or undead. With the sound of music. <laughs> My first acting gig Is was when I was. Is this an acceptance a... speech? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Crying. Melodic. What does that mean? Well, 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 like you're articulate. What does that mean? Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> well, <laughs> that word has too many syllables. <laughs> you see, your mustache is something that I personally admire about you the most. How do you keep it in such great shape? Complete neglect. It's kind of like what my mom does to me. Except your mustache isn't anywhere near as good as mine. Well, Steven, he's, he's still like. He's just... <laughs> we love you, brother. Yeah, I know this. Yo, we got magazines. He's so aggressive. Um. Hey! You're a jerk. Uh, I don't know, some of them are cute, some of them are stupid. <laughs> King Ezekiel has a pet. What is its name? Shiva! 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 Why is Dwight's face burned? Iron! 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 I burned the crap out of it with an iron! <laughs> What's the home of the saviors called? Sanctuary. Frankenberry? Is that what you said? <laughs> Thanks, Roy. Correct. This is the love story of Rick and Michonne, ladies and gentlemen. It was my story and I'm born as a Rick and Michonne. It was a love that slowly grew. Rick's girls kept getting eaten, so he had to try something new. Las chicas de Rick se, bueno, se las comían, por lo tanto tenía que probar. This new girl of Rick's is strong and never holds a grudge. That's why they go together, like vanilla ice cream and chocolate hot fudge. Is there such a thing as love at first sight? I amor a primera vista. Don't ask a walker, it might just take a bite. What was that? It, don't ask a walker, it might just take a bite. <laughs> I think Michonne had the hots for Rick at first glance. Creo que Michonne se enamoró de Rick la primera vez que lo vio. This is a uh, Who wouldn't? He's just a hottie in those sheriff's pants. Con lo bueno que está en esos pantalones de sheriff. Rick no longer has to be alone. Y ahora Rick no tiene que estar solo. He has found his warrior princess and her name is Badass. Michelle! 
Uh, hey, Costa Rica, this is uh, Andrew Lincoln. Uh, I'm quite dirty. This is... who's this? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's Norman. We're on easy. Vegan. Ooh. Ooh. God, I hate that guy. No, I love that guy. Okay. 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 Ever and you know, I went to a chiropractor. He said, "Yeah, your hip bone's facing this way. Your coccyx is facing that way. What the heck?" But you know, he just click, click, and I was fine. But you know, she said um, coccyx. <laughs> Tailbone. Yeah, he doesn't have much game either. <laughs> oh, my favorite movie in the world. The, the question mark on your head. Bring God in Leviosa. You know, we heard of him, he was coming, and then I checked out, what's he like? He went, oh, he's solid, man. And all it. Then, of course, we're in makeup, and all the girls on set start going, oh, he's one of us already. He's <laughs> such a great... And, you know, and we had this wave of all the swooning <laughs> girls, and then I'm like, oh, no. Then I met him, and I went, oh, he's really lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Am I Tony. Tony, that's right. You You're filming this, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's filming, all right. Now, here we are. You know, Tony, you tell me something right now. You ever think about life? Yeah. You ever think about death? Yeah. You ever think about the, the interchangeability of the two? And, and the, fa the fact that we are all just swirling around on this, wor this world, this earth. Yeah. What are we doing here, man? What are we, what's it all for, right? I mean, are we, are we driving the navigator or is the navigator driving us? That's not just very good. That's like on point. But he looks like him, though. He's like, I need to, like, he's like, yeah, I, If you stand me, actually, you stand, right now, if you do, it's now behind. What are you going to say? Right, do you Matthew McConaughey. Uh, uh, all right, he's going to do the voice. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Tony, it's gonna be all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. Dear New York Comic Con. No, do the soft British accent. <laughs> This is Andrew Lincoln here. I have occupied Norman Reedus for the next few minutes. I am inside his mind. I am truly sorry not to be with you all today, but to make up for it, Normski has promised to read word for word this message on my behalf. <laughs> here we go. I would like to take this opportunity to apologize to Andrew Lincoln for all the pain and humiliation he caused him over the years. The chicken in his trailer was juvenile. The ongoing glitter war was ill-judged. <laughs> and consistently not knowing any new characters' names or plot lines that Daryl Dixon doesn't happen to be in is quite simply unprofessional. <laughs> I admire him deeply. I secretly wish I was him. <laughs> when he's not here, I miss him. I really do. Don't skip this beat. I'll know if you do because Steven has a copy of this message. <laughs> I thought it would be nice to do something for the fans to, to make up for my absence. So Normski will ask a question, and the first person to get it right gets to choose any item of clothing he is currently wearing. Alright, the question is this. How many squirrels did Daryl Dixon throw at Rick when I told him I handcuffed Merle to the rooftop? Good luck, have a great night, and I hope you're wearing boxers normal. <laughs> right, Negan is cooking dinner for Carl and Judith in Rick's house. Spaghetti! <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't even realize. You didn't even realize, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why are you assholes? <laughs> you didn't even notice. 
was wondering why I couldn't get one. <laughs> But my two children had tears in their eyes. And they said, what did Nanny Norman do? <laughs> and I said, sweetheart, he's, he's humiliated your father on an international scale. And they said, what can we do? And I said, so believe me, we, it, this isn't the end. Beard. It's in your beard! Yeah. Uh, oh. That could not have backfired oh, more! Damn. Oh dear. Yeah. Now, a question that I personally had for you, um, when you were asking Glenn about the Bisquick, uh, I don't really understand that because I never saw Glenn make pancakes. Was it like a deleted scene? Because I didn't really understand what you're talking about. It's just like most breakfast foods. You have to experience it to fully understand it. I eat pancakes all the time. Awesome. What's it like to be back? You know, it's family. It's good. It's even good to see you. I mean, it's oh, good. she's so cool. <laughs> No, it's amazing. It's amazing. You're excited? You know? Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's like <laughs> so much excited to be back. You excited to be back, Norman? Now I am. <laughs> Congratulations, to Ross. The Oscar goes to Matthew McConaughey. Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, this is just uh, this is something else. This is stellar. This is uh, this is interstellar. John C. Riley. Oh, uh, John C. Riley! Wow, this is this is uh, this is kind of special. I mean, this is like really extra special. I mean, this is this is like super duper extra special with socks. Kevin Spacey. Oh, Kevin Spacey. Sure, sure. I, I wish I could say that I was uh, surprised by this, but come on. I mean, who are you going to choose, Matt Damon? <laughs> Oops, it's a video. <laughs> That's what you do on Ellen is dance, right? Because an actor without a robe is a pain in the oh ho 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 la. Only once in a lifetime will a role like this ever come my way. This movie has to be made. This could be yours with. No one reads his tongue. That. And those eyes. <laughs> and a little thank you from me. Thank you, guys. Do it. My mother is a woman. My father is a goat. I am a man. But you don't want to see my down there area. That's all goat stuff. Do you want to dance? Dude, yeah, yeah. never mind. We give each other a lot of crap. We wrote a little song. Oh, yeah, let me hear our song, song again. Carol is sterile and Daryl is feral. A match made in hell. Okay, and then the scene after that, you get shot in the head. Right. What were Glenn's last words? <laughs> Maggie, I will find you. That's it. That was, really good. That was it. All right. I, 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 so what's the score? We have to tally. Uh, let's go to the. Does that one count? That counts as three. Because the counts. last one counts as three. Jeff won. Jeff is the winner with one point. <laughs> Thank you for playing. All right. Thank you. <laughs>